What's up guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony Brienne and in today's video we're going to be discussing the Talia Lowe case. So I saw this story on TikTok. It's not a very popular story right now but I thought it would be important to bring some recognition to this story and to notify people about this case because this case is something that's very haunting and reminds me of another case that I did about a year ago. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Talia Lowe was a freshman at Grand Valley State University. She graduated from South Haven High High school in spring 2021 and going to GVSU which is Grand Valley State University was a dream come true for her. According to her grandmother Shirley McCurdy, this was the happiest time of Talia's life. Talia was described as intelligent, incredibly compassionate, and that she had a very bright future ahead of her. We want, to know, want people to know that Talia was a very bright, intelligent, smart, fun loving outgoing girl on thursday october 14th 2021 18 year old talia decided to go to lake michigan with a few of her friends from gvsu according to authorities this was late at night approximately 10 45 and the water was turbulent with wind directions shifting throughout the night according to witnesses a swimmer was caught in a riptide a few hours later that swimmer was identified as talia low a few hours later that swimmer was identified as talia low at that point talia had passed away due to drowning. So according to Talia's grandmother Shirley, she always told Talia not to go to Lake Michigan and she made sure to warn Talia this before going to college officially. But her grandmother did state that Talia did not really need this warning. She just wanted to reiterate it. Talia did not need this warning because Talia knew all her life that she should never be around water and she should not be swimming due to her being paralyzed on the left side. Her left arm was partially paralyzed, causing her not to be able to raise it past her chest. And being born and raised in South Haven, which is right near Lake Michigan, Talia always knew not to go to Lake Michigan at all because she couldn't swim. We also want people to know that Talia could not swim. She had um, a wow. disability, para par partial paralysis in, I, don't, I can't remember, her, her left arm from birth. So they say she would not have gone into the water. Talia's death has sparked a huge firestorm on social media. Some of her family members, friends, and fellow TikTokers believe that the cause of Talia's death was not accidental. And it actually was her friends that she was with. Talia knew about the tide and I just don't, I just don't think it's right. I just don't think Talia would go that far out in the water by herself knowing about the tide that late at night. Also that night, the family says they saw a GoFundMe account created for Talia. They started a GoFundMe for my sister without any of the family's consent first, or not even two hours after Talia was found. It's why the family believes there's more to the story about what happened that night at Pier Marquette. They believe others were with her and they've been in consistent contact with authorities. Talia happened to be the only black girl that went on this Lake Michigan trip. People feel that there was some foul play when it came to her being the only black girl there, or at least there was some malicious intent from her. Friends. Now, according to Muskegon Police, the police department that is involved in this case, they say the death investigation is still ongoing, but no indication of foul play has been discovered thus far. Police are still awaiting autopsy results, but they do believe that this was just a terrible accident. Talia's grandmother stated that she's not going to make any assumptions. She is putting her full trust into the police department and is hoping that they will come out with the correct answer and honest answers with this case. And she has said she has been in conversation with the head of the police department, Captain Sean Bride. So that is all the details we have of this case. This case is almost a month old, so it is still a fairly new case, but I want to share my thoughts on this case before I even end this video. This case sounds very familiar to Tamla Horsford, another tragic case about a black woman being around a bunch of white women. And of course, I, we don't know what happened and we could all make assumptions and I don't want to automatically assume that these girls that were with her did anything to her. But for me personally, it is scary to think about a black girl being by herself with a group of white women. Me personally, I do currently live in a house filled of white women and I am the only black girl and honestly, I do feel safe around my peers that I live with, but sometimes it is daunting to think about because we've seen so many cases where there has been malicious intent, whether it was racially motivated or some form of jealousy. I don't know what happened with Talia. I'm hoping that, although it is still unfortunate, that it was just an accidental drowning, but with all the facts that were given to us and her grandmother saying, hey, Talia knew better. She didn't like to go into water. It feels like there was some foul play involved. And I know we all make dumb mistakes or, or make abrupt decisions when we're with our friends, but when it comes to water, 
I don't think anyone's going to make an abrupt decision like that to hop into water knowing that they cannot swim or they are half paralyzed on one part of their arm. So I'm hoping that we get some updates on this case. It's a very tragic story. I am praying for Talia's family. Nobody wants to deal with this, especially when you just sent your baby girl off to college. College is already daunting enough for parents, I'm assuming. So just knowing that you sent your daughter away and she did not come back alive, I can only imagine what her family's thinking. Talia's mother actually is not alive. Her mother died from cancer when Talia was not even two years old. So Talia's mother is her grandmother and that's who she was raised by and I know her grandmother probably is just heartbroken that she lost not only her daughter but also her granddaughter now. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you guys think of this case? Of course please be respectful. Your opinions are valued but please make sure they're not with malicious intent and I will see you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.